What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is DX2929 coming at you. Long time no see. Um, been really busy, a lot of work, a lot of stuff going on. But, uh, you know, every now and again I get a chance to go out and pick some stuff up, which is cool. So, uh, I'm going to try to make this video quick because at the end of the video I actually have some clips from RetroCon that I kind of want to share. Um, that was this past weekend in Oaks, Pennsylvania. Um, it was a really fun time. Um, a lot, if you've never been to RetroCon, you should go to it next year when it comes back. Uh, it's great. It's all 80s stuff, a lot of toys, which is, as you know, this is my forte, which I love toys. I love video games, but I love toys way more. It's just my thing. Um, so, without further ado, um, here's some stuff that I picked up. Uh, this is stuff that I picked up at RetroCon. Um, other convention that I had gone to, probably the last, before the last one. I don't think I filmed anything since the last too many games. I'm not sure. All I know is uh, I got some things here and there. This is, I'm just going to show you what I got, not really go into where I got it, but um, it's a couple things. And then there's one really big thing, which was something I've been waiting for forever. And I finally got it because it came out last month. And I actually went to Toys R Us and picked it up. So I'll save that one for the for last. Um, first thing I want to show you is this little Shy Guy, plushy. Um, Shy Guy is my favorite Nintendo character. I love him. I can just imagine what he looks like under there. He's probably like got like Freddy Krueger's face or something. And he rips it off and just cuts you. Mm. Um, number two is I picked up Zero Suit Samus from uh, GameStop. I was I just went in there uh, to just look around and I saw they had like three behind the counter and I was like, uh -huh, she's got a really good paint job. I don't know if you can see it. But they did a really good job on this one. I'm probably actually going to open this and set it up somewhere. Um, that was the only Amiibo I got. I didn't even... I mean, they had the others. I, I'm kind of trying to even out on what I'm buying. And that's one thing I kind of got to stop collecting so much of. Um, this is just random. I was at a Hot Topic and they had these. Um, yeah, that's right. I go on the Hot Topic. What? Um, Orange is the new black figures of Piper and Alex. So... I love that show. So these are actually in front of my television downstairs. Um, they're huge noodles. So, nah, yeah, there's that. I'm not going to get into collecting pops, though. I just like those because they don't really have any oranges and new black stuff. So, um, I also picked up this Kill a Kill figure, Ryuko. Um, it's still in the box. It's really cool. Uh, but right now, I just have nowhere to store to put all this stuff as you can see like this is my transformer section and i try to this is upstairs i try to keep my downstairs untoy related because if i want to bring over a lady you know she might not be so into that kind of stuff at first you know sometimes it's hard to convince women that uh you know collecting toys and stuff is not a children's thing so i like to try to work my way towards that um so you know it's, it is what it is um at the end of too many games which was few months back there was a guy he was getting rid of all his posters and stuff real cheap but he was like a real company and he was like um there was a whole bunch of display ones and they were taped and i was like can i get one of those can i get a taped one he's like yeah just come at the end of the convention and you have it for free i was like okay so i came and picked this one up he had given away a lot of other ones that i wanted but that this one was still available so yeah. you can see that it's charizard versus squirtle <laughs> I don't like Squirtle's chances, but this is a really cool looking poster. It'll probably go up somewhere up here. Right now, it's just rolled up and thrown to the side. Um, okay, at RetroCon, which you'll see some clips at the end, hopefully, um, as long as I don't mess it up. Um, they had a bunch of G1 Transformers and stuff like that. So I went there and in hopes of picking up some stuff that I needed, which I did. I picked up, I only picked up two things because, you know, these are, Transformers are expensive. Right? If you guys ever look up stuff and then try to see how much some of these go for it's insane and then especially at conventions sometimes they can be a little pricey but it's a cool thing because you don't really get to see them every day um i picked up a g1 springer with his gun i still need to get the helicopter blade but this is a toy i actually had as a kid he was one of my favorite ones now that i look back at him i'm like i don't know why but uh, he was one of my favorites uh soundwave was my absolute favorite but he was one of my favorites i always had him I, in his helicopter mode and i was bringing him to school i think somebody might have stole him Give me back my Springer. And number two was I picked up a Chrome Dome. Chrome Dome is a Headmaster, and he's one of the more expensive ones. Uh, he's missing one gun, but other than that, he's complete, and he's in really good shape. 
You know, his, his headmaster actually has all, both arms, which is nice, because a lot of times when you pick up headmasters, one of their arms is missing. It's weird. So he was actually a good deal. Um, those are the only two things I picked up there. Uh, like I said, if you get a chance, go next year. You'll have a really good time. It's in Oaks, PA, um, at the Philadelphia, Greater Philadelphia Expo Center. Um, now, last but not least, this is something I picked up like a month or two ago at Toys R Us. I just went in there shopping. You know, every now and again, if I'm near one, I'll go in and see if anything new Transformer related coming out or any kind of other toy I might be interested in. Um, so I walk down the aisle and I see this box. I'm like, oh no, I know what this is. And you know, $150, $150 later, of course I had to buy it because they only had one. And I know if I didn't get it, I would regret it. Boom, 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 boom. This is the Combiner Wars Devastator. Um, he is huge. We're talking, like, I mean, it's insane how big this figure is. Um, you can see some of the, the detail in his face. Uh, I obviously, he came in regular truck mode. All the, they were all in their construction vehicle mode. And I had to put him in the Devastator mode because he's going to be right up here next to Metroplex. Metroplex is huge, but he's a little smaller. But, I mean, he's amazing. This is an amazing figure. If you have an extra $150 laying around, which I really didn't, but I had to get it. So, I was late with my rent. Shh. Don't tell my landlord. But, yeah. He's awesome. I have a toy, uh, toy addiction, transformer crack addiction. So, I need, to, uh, I need to stop with that, I think. But, all in all, that's all I got. I haven't really gotten the chance to go to any thrift stores or, or uh, flea markets. So... But I mean, overall, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good amount of stuff. Like I said, trying to even it out a little bit. Even it out. Um, I'll try to put out more videos. I know I say that a lot, but I'm going to try to. I just don't want to put out videos if I haven't bought anything. You know what I mean? And I don't do Let's Plays and stuff like that. So, uh, I hope you liked the video with the some of the RetroCon stuff. Uh, it might be a little bit blurry and messy, but I, I'm going to try to put it together nice. I'm not really good at editing. As you can see, I do this in one take normally because it's just my phone and me. And I just babble. So, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. And I really hope you you enjoy it. Uh, hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. So, um, let me know what you got late recently. Maybe some new toys, new video games, anything like that. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. And it's Monday night and the Eagles are playing tonight. So, I'm hoping they win. <laughs> thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>